Hey everyone and welcome to our YouTube channel. This video will be a guide on how to create a Remitly account and send money internationally. Remitly is an excellent platform for sending money abroad. They provide very competitive exchange rates and low fees compared to traditional wire transfers. And in this video, I'm going to be walking you through the entire process. Sending money through Remitly takes just a few minutes once you're set up and by the end you will know exactly how to use Remitly to get the best rates and avoid fees when sending money overseas to friends, family or even business partners. First things first, we will need to create a Remitly account before you can send any money. And the easiest way is by downloading the Remitly app on your iPhone or Android phone and signing up there. This allows you to manage your transfers on the go. Alternatively, you can sign up on the Remitly website by going to remitly.com and then in the top right corner, you can see the join now button to begin the registration. Once you're on the Remitly website, first select the country that you want to send money to. You can change this later, but just pick now any country if you don't know yet. Next, enter your email address and password to create your account. Make sure the recipient country is correct if you do already have one in mind. After that, click the join now button. No need to confirm your email. You will automatically be logged into your new Remitly account. Once you're logged in, you will be taken to the money transfer form to enter all of the key details. First, enter the amount of money you wish to send. Remitly will immediately show you the estimated amount that your recipient will receive after currency conversion and fees. Under where you enter the amount, you can select the delivery speed for the transfer, economy or express. Economy is the slower option but provides better exchange rate so more money arrives to your recipient. Express is faster but the exchange rate won't be as ideal so your recipient gets a bit less. I always recommend choosing economy delivery unless you specifically need the funds received urgently. The small difference in timing is worth it for the better conversion rate in most cases. After that, you will need to specify how you want the money to be delivered and received by your recipient. Remitly offers several options depending on the destination country. You've got direct bank deposit into their bank account, cash pickup at a local partner location, delivery to their mobile money account and deposit onto a debit card. For simplicity and security, I highly recommend using the direct bank deposit if it's available for your recipient's country. This requires them to have an existing bank account set up and ready to receive the funds. The cash pickup and mobile money options work well too, but the bank deposit tends to be the easiest and most secure in my experience. After selecting the delivery method, the next step is entering some key details about your recipient. So you've got the full legal name, bank account details if depositing directly to their bank, mobile phone number, optional but useful, and you will also need to choose the reason or purpose for sending the money from the list Remitly provides. This info is required when sending internationally. Make sure to enter the recipient's details carefully and accurately. This ensures the funds get to your intended person securely. After that, you will complete your own details as the sender. Make sure your name, address, and other information is entered correctly. At this point in the process, Remitly may require you to upload ID for identity verification before allowing your first transfer. The ID check is quick and easy, usually just uploading a photo of your passport or national ID card, plus a selfie, it depends on factors like your location and the transfer amount. Next, you will have two options when it comes to actually paying Remitly for your transfer. You've got the bank transfer or debit and credit card payment. I strongly advise paying directly from your bank account via bank transfer if possible. This allows you to avoid any kind of fees and paying with a credit or debit card can incur cash advance fees and other unexpected costs from your card provider. To pay by bank transfer, just select your bank from Remitly's list of supported banks in your country. Follow their simple authentication process so that you can securely link your accounts. If your bank is not listed, then use the manual bank transfer option. Remitly will provide their banking details for you to directly transfer the money to. Now towards the end, one final confirmation page. Carefully review all the transfer details again to ensure accuracy before confirming. Double check that the recipient name and details are right, the delivery method is what you wanted and the transfer amount is correct. If paying via the bank transfer, Remitly will display their bank account information for you to transfer the money to. The transfer won't actually be processed until they receive your payment. So at this point, you still have the ability to go back and make any changes or corrections if needed before sending your payment over. Once you're verified and everything looks good, click confirm to complete the transfer. If you chose bank transfer, you will now need to log into your own bank account and send the money over to Remitly using the provided account details so they can process the international transfer. Once Remitly receives your payment, your transfer will be on its way. They will deliver the funds abroad and send your recipient a text when it's available for pickup in their account. 
And that's it, you just completed your first international money transfer with Remitly. Withdraw, send, deliver, the whole process just takes a few simple steps. Thank you for watching this video. Let us know if you have any other questions at all about using Remitly. And if you found today's video to be helpful or informative to watch, then let us know by giving it a thumbs up. And don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel so you don't miss out on any follow-up content that we can create related to this one.